Hmm. All right. Differences, cycles, putting words to feelings, the closest thing to meaning. It's just a form. It's not a static. It's a conception for um, communal sake. So think in terms of progression, life, living, creative, growth, expansion, decay, all the cycles in your lived experience. My perspectives, early imprinting. I was alienated before the symbolic ritualistic programming of a mono theistic possession could take hold of me. I was isolated from the noise of the echo because there was too much within me trying to come out. In life, it slowly found expression and existence, connection to resonance, experiences the mind-led mind, the heart-led mind, oscillations in awareness, inability to relate. I didn't know the entrainment. I didn't know the trance. I didn't know my own. There's so many. And it's not control, it's release. Gives you the opportunity to realize in real time with real eyes and live. And it's hard to do in a world of replication because it doesn't have a manual, it doesn't have any authentic ways. It can only give you replicated response. A charge, we hold it, we create with it. And it creates with us. We're given distinctions, opportunities to realize our projections. Opportunities for reflections and to embrace ignorance and live in the moment. Spirit in form and your awareness informed and you hold relation to the past so the persona grows and new spirits can find refuge to this gilded awareness, giving life to relation to the past. Nature nurtures. I believe we nature our own nurture into reality and the resonance of who we are finds it in this world and that's about as fatalistic as I get. Everything else is a slow boil, slow fading, a work in process, progress. And then it's something else. You have to learn to catch and release in life, I feel.
you don't have to be right all the time, only when it matters. Makes things easier. That's part of what I've learned in life. <laughs>